for something rather special this weekend. Crossroads, one of our afternoon show faves. Just can't get enough of it. The finest TV soap opera, in my opinion, because I've had no interest in any others since it went off the telly, and we are I'm so thrilled to be joined by Jane Rossington, who played Jill, and our old pal Tony Adams, who played Adam Chance. Good afternoon to you both. Good afternoon to you. Oh, Oh, hello. Hello. And Jane and Tony, of course, you know each other. Yes. Now, so you don't need any further introduction. No. Look at you. You look well for 50, don't you? The pair of you. Jane, how, d- how, d- how, d- how does it... I'm 29. What do you mean, 50? Oh, sorry. Well, you're not there at the beginning, love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I was. I don't think I've ever been there in the beginning. <laughs> as long as you're there in the end, Chuck. Oh, but... I was always there well, in the I've end. I suspected. Mm. <laughs> uh, oh, well, the lights were on, but sadly he wasn't at home. Um, Jane, were you there from the beginning? I was. I spoke the first lines. I know what that I first line was. I spoke the last ones. <gasps> I, I, there was one more line after me from somebody else, but, you know, not bad, eh? That's disappointing. Was the first line, Crossroads Motel, can I help you? You've got it in one. Boom. <laughs> I seem to remember that from the uh, the back of my mind. I mean, does it feel like 50 years? No. Uh, yes and no. Um, yes, it does. It seems a long time since we were doing it. But equally, you know, I still see people and people still remember, which is quite amazing. So it, it's not that bad. No. When did you join then, Tony? Uh, I first came in, I think, in 68 as Mr Perkins, an estate agent, and I sold Kitty a house. And uh, I was I was so earth-shattering that they invited me back 11 years later. <laughs> <laughs> they thought about it, didn't they? <laughs> yes, they thought about it. And I came back as Adam Chance. Adam was a, was a lovely character to play because he was such an evil man. He really was evil. He was a nice. fun as well. Hmm. Yes. And and you and also he had it all going on, didn't he, Jane? He had the whole package: the lustrous hair, uh, the beautiful moustache, the fabulous <laughs> suit. What a treat for you! Fifty years hasn't been kind to the lustrous <laughs> hair or to the eyebrows that have come down for a drink. Don't you, don't you dare! So, mind you, did you see Neil Diamond the other week live at the Palladium? His eyebrows. I don't know what's going on there. So you don't. No, no, I didn't. No, it's sad, yeah. don't. So don't worry about your eyebrows, Tony. Right. You, you, you've. Right. you've You've got a long way to go yet. Okay. Um, but, oh, yes. <laughs> and of course, you too were, were so were so sort of deeply in in love, and then out of love, and then in love. It was an extraordinary uh, relationship. We kept getting married, but I'm not convinced that we actually got divorced in between before we got married again. But never mind. Oh, hang on, you were bigamists. Yes. Well, maybe because I don't remember ever having a scene when we got divorced, and then later on we got married again. Oh. So it seemed very odd, but never mind. Nobody noticed. Can you be a bigamist with yourself? I don't know. No. <laughs> you tell me. It sounds very masturbatory, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure that's even a word, Tony. And let's back it up and move on. <laughs> why Why do you think, 50 years on, we're all still dead excited about Crossroads? One mention of the fact that you two were on the show today, everything's lit up, everybody's excited. Victor, do you know it was filmed at the long shoot? That kind of thing. Why are we Gosh. still so excited by it, Jane? I have no idea. But really? It's great. Yeah. But, I mean, it's amazing people do remember. Um Obviously, the youngsters don't because they haven't seen it, but, you know. When did it go off? 1988. And But it, it was briefly sort of resurrected, wasn't it? Oh, yes, it, it was. Yeah. Yes, well, it, it sort of resurrected, yes. Oh, I don't always see. Oh, it, was 13, it was 13 years later when they first resurrected it. Mm. And then I think it had two other little moments as well. Oh, I but see. The thing is, you add, it's very difficult without all the original people to resurrect it and carry on. You know, I it, think. yeah, it was it was lacking a certain something. I think yeah. it w- to be honest, looking back, I mean, I, I, obviously, I don't remember it from the very beginning, but I remember the, the sort of real heyday um, in yeah. the seventies when my nana would would draw blood rather than miss an episode, yes. um, and it was <laughs> it was a look into a, a sort of world of glamour. We didn't stay in motels. Um, you know, we we stayed, you stayed, you stayed at hotels that locked you out. 
uh, yeah. during the course of the day and didn't didn't let you back in till oh, tea time. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Th- so it was quite a glamorous world. The notion of a hotel that you could come and go from uh, that was a big deal. And then, of course, it got usurped, wasn't it, by even more glamour, more glamorous worlds. So that's my theory. Ah. Mm. Did you stack up. Well, well, I think it did because it was very much about. Pe- I think people identified with us. You know, they they t- believed totally that we were real. Which was that fabulous, but it, it did have its bad moments. I, you know, I can remember once being somewhere and somebody said, "Oh, I know who you are," and I said, "Oh, right, yes, jolly good." And then she said, "Yes, she, how are you?" Because she said that leg when you had it tied up in the hospital. <laughs> so I wondered if you were ever going to walk again. And I thought, what? What's she talking about? But you know, people just know that they know you. They don't always remember quite why they know you. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a brilliant thing to be approached with. I hadn't been in this hospital and there's nothing wrong with my leg, but there you go. <laughs> I, I had a lovely experience. I said this to Jane only two days ago. I was in Sandown High Street on the Isle of Wight and the Sharabang pulled up and four ladies got out and crossed the road and came towards me. And one of the ladies in the middle, she stopped and she said, Oh, she said, Edna, Jessie. Fancy, do you know who that man is there? And they looked at me and they said, no. And she said, he took my gallbladder out in 1988. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you said we were real. <laughs> I did. And she said, young man, I never forget a face. <laughs> yeah. That's an anaesthetist, doesn't it, really? But well, there we go. At least you remembered for something. That's Absolutely. amazing. Exactly. Oh, bless you. So what are we doing to celebrate 50, uh, 50 years? Are you up to anything special, Tony? Uh, no, nothing special, because every day is special, as far as I'm concerned. And in answer to your question of why do you think people... Oh, yeah. Get excited, I think it's three generations who saw the show. Mm. Yes. And uh, it, the, 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 there were the kids uh, of 10, of 9 or 10 who saw it. There were people in their sort of 20s who saw it. And then there were people slightly elderly, my sort of age now, in their 70s. And I think that anybody who is sort of alive in that area, and there's still a lot of people. And there were only two soaps on. I mean, there was Coronation Street and there was Crossroads. And those were the only two on in the very, very early days. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it? Of course, we were on... We did so many more episodes than Coronation Street. I think that's another thing. They used to switch on every day for their sort of dose of, you know, what's been going on. Mm. I mean, I think, does Coronation Street now do it almost every day? I can't remember. I have no... I, I think it is, actually. It feels like it is, to be yeah. honest. It feels like it's but on it's, all the time. It's a tough, tough act to, to, to do, you know, to be do five nights a week. But we started off doing five nights a week, well, five, five afternoons a week, and then we moved a bit later. And then, uh, you know, but it's, that's a difficult thing. I can imagine. Very tiring. Yeah. Was it film to VT, even in the... You didn't ever have to do live episodes or anything like that? Well, we were... We, what they did is we had some allotted time in the studio, and that was it. There was no going back. So if something terrible happened, it happened. And we had to get out of it or round it or... <laughs> <laughs> it or so yeah. is, this, is this why there were the, the occasional that there were a few sort of odd moments and perhaps were, yeah. wobbly yeah. scenery and, and things like that? And it was quite scary because there weren't that many of us in the show at any one time. So um, you were working quite hard and it, it was quite tricky. You'd look around and think, have I said everything I should? Why has it gone <laughs> silent? And I hope that somebody else would join in. <laughs> It just—it sounds wonderfully. Sur- I wonder sometimes because I haven't seen episodes for you. I've caught up with with odd clips. Um, yes. I do. I've got, I've got a colleague here that that likes it as much as me, and, and we've we've shared the odd clip as we've gone along. But I've not seen full episodes, I and mean, it's always yeah. lamented, isn't it, how bad the sets and stuff were? It, it, was yeah. it was it actually that bad? Do you think? No, not really. It's just that uh, it was uh, the only way you could do it at that speed. You know, we used to do f- around two in a day. So we'd come in at 9.30 and we had to finish by 8 o'clock in the evening uh, because if you went over, it was something like £20,000 a minute. Wow. So you, we just didn't... We never went over. So, it, you know, if I can remember once somebody was sneaking off and they, they went to the door and op- they were going to open the door and the door was locked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> and I think somebody exited through the chimney. <laughs> 
and they cut away and then they disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> but there was all those sort of things that kept you on your toes. <laughs> I can well imagine. Do you know they? I don't know why they don't show it again. They they really should have. Somebody oh, showed... darling, they used to wipe the tape. Oh no! They used the tape again. So uh, the first, certainly the first four years, they just wiped the tape and, and used it again. Then it got so bad that they had to buy new ones. So, <laughs> so all so all those episodes, the early episodes yeah, have, have gone. gone. Yeah, I, I think the first one starts about nineteen. We started in nineteen sixty four. And I think the first, anything, that there's, there's one or two odd ones left over from about 1969, 68, that sort of, but nothing much. And they've probably all been lost or, you know. And the trouble is, it wasn't particularly, you know, it wasn't like how you record things now. It, these tapes, the, the, the print of the what was on it used to come through. Mm. So that, you know, I mean, I, uh, I can remember I used to ta- actually physically tape some of the uh, things, but after a bit, you put it on and there's all these other, it's like shadows coming through of other episodes because it would just all kind of go through. Um, so it was absolutely useless. It looked like several ghosts were wandering around all saying, hello, mother, hello, mother. <laughs> uh, what, a, what a beautiful notion that is, you two in triplicate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a but lovely it, thing. It, it, that's the, you know, that's the way it was done. But bear in mind, it wasn't proper video to start with. It was a sort of telly, te- what was it called, the very first, and they couldn't stop the tape. They couldn't edit and things like that. It was all the early, early days of uh, all the, the technology. If yeah. only we had access to the technology we've got now then and we'd yeah. be able to enjoy it over and it. over again. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you so much uh, for joining us and a very, very happy birthday to you and everybody else uh, from Crossroads uh, still with us, Jane Rossington and Tony Adams, 50 years of Crossroads. I'd give my right arm to see them all again, but not if they're all ghosts in triplicate. <laughs> BBC Coventry and Warwickshire Travel. Now then, let's check in with Louisa. 